All right, Michael. Like I said, we got to get your back swing, and then your through swing or down swing, and then our exit strategy a little bit better. Remember, with you and your swings, we would go like this. So where's all my weight? Here. So in order to get back to the ball, we had to then go back this way. Sometimes you're good. Most of the times you caught the ground first instead of the ball first. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab two of these alignment rods, which you can get at a Home Depot, any color you want, if they have orange or yellow. If not, just grab two golf clubs. Now, first one we're going to lay on the ground. All right. Now remember, the golf ball is always going to be just left of our center. So if I were to run this straight up my sternum, this is my center. The golf ball is going to be slightly left of our center. Okay? But in order for us to make a good backswing on it, our shoulders have to turn behind our center. So we're going to move this rod just slightly right of center. That's going to ensure that we make a turn and we're back behind it. If you look at my left shoulder, my left shoulder is behind to where the golf ball would be, which would be just left of center. Okay? So you'll take an alignment stick or a golf club, put it across your chest. Now all I want you to do is get this shoulder, turn it, make sure this left shoulder is lower than the right shoulder. All right, and make sure this rod is parallel to this rod or golf club, whatever you decide. If you're turning and it's just here, not good. You need a good solid turn, okay? Not this, that's not a turn. A good solid turn into a right side. All right, that's what we're gonna do. All right, Michael, this is what it looks like from this angle. Remember. It's just right of center. See how my left shoulder is down while my right shoulder is now up. Okay? That's what the back swing is going to look like. All right? Now, the down swing to the exit strategy. All right? Or after we hit the golf ball. All right? This is what we're going to look like going through it. So we have right of center golf club or rod. Turn it back. Now as we turn through, all right, we want the right shoulder lower than the left shoulder. So then it will be boom. Okay? All right? And if you look, this club or rod will be parallel with this club or rod. Okay? That's what we're looking like as we go through the downswing to the exit strength. All right, Michael, this is what it looks like from this angle. Remember, it's just right of center. See how my left shoulder is down while well, my right shoulder is now up, okay? That's what the back swing is gonna look like, all right? Now, the downswing to the exit strategy, all right? Or after we hit the golf ball, all right? This is what we're gonna look like going through it. So we have right of center, the golf club or rod. Turn it back. Now as we turn through, all right, we want the right shoulder lower than the left shoulder. So then it would be boom, okay? All right, and if you look, this club or rod will be parallel with this club or rod. Okay? That's what we're looking like as we go through the downswing to the exit strategy. All right, Michael, this is what the downswing and exit strategy looks like from this angle, all right? So, we've made our backswing, making sure this rod gets back parallel to this rod, all right? Left shoulder is lower than the right shoulder, okay? We're not doing this, OK? 
Okay? Now on the way down, we are now turning to make the right shoulder lower than the left shoulder. Okay? See how it's parallel to this club rod here. Alright? And I'm not back here. Alright? Here we go. We'll do it all in one motion. So turn back, turn through. Okay? Do this about 150 to 200 times a day. All right, and do it four out of seven days of the week. All right, bud? See you in a couple weeks.